so first up we have Tetsuya, who probably had the longest journey to get here, coming all the way from Japan. Uh, so he'll be a familiar face to those of you on the, the DPDK mailing list. He's the person who did the original uh, hot plug framework. Um, and uh, he's going to talk about dynamic NFE deployment with port hot plug. Okay. Uh, first, I will talk about me. Uh, I'm a software engineer at Eagleco uh, DB. Uh, Eagle is a very small Japanese company. Uh, I uh, roughly 10 years experience in embedded Linux products. And so far, uh, uh, so far, or sorry, currently, I'm, a, I'm out of develop, uh, I'm a one of the developers of Lagopass. Please visit lagopass.github.io. Uh, Lagopass is a open, so open, where open source software switch. So, I will talk about uh, two things. One is current status of port hot plugin, and the other is dynamic NFV develop development with port hot plug and bar IO. Uh, we'll talk about current limitations and what we will be sold in DBDK 2.2 and 2.3. Okay. Uh, maybe uh, a lot of people know port hot plugin port hot plug feature. So I, I just ex explain very uh, uh, surface of feature. Uh, after starting an application, a DPDK application can attach to a port or detach from a port. This is a port hot plug feature. Uh, to support port hot plug feature, uh, each PMD and also EAL needs to be changed. <coughs> so, so far, uh, for Linux, uh, IGB UIO and UIO PCI generic supports port hot plug feature, and, uh, but we don't have an uh, implementation for VFIO. Also, BSD and NIC UIO is supported. So, only VFIO is not supported so far. Uh, also, supported PMDs. Uh, this is a list. Uh, there are a lot of PMD is supported now. Uh, and uh, thanks for Bernard and Michael to support a lot of PMD. Also, this is a list of not supported. Uh, uh, but uh, I guess Zenbat is now uh, have a, a Zenbat has a patch for to, to support PMD a port hot plugin now. Uh, now Bernard submit in in here for next DPDK. So next is uh, NFV things. Uh, in some cases, uh, NFV is needed to be deployed on demand. So like this. So to deploy like, like this, uh, this feature is needed. Actually, software switch and port hot plugin function and hot plugged port for NFV. Uh, this is a detail of NFV. Uh, there is an application and a virtual NIC driver and virtual NIC and virtual wire to software switch. <coughs> then hot plug, a pot, hot plug the port for NFV and software switch. So, v, also VM and container is needed to isolate the NFV and software switch. Uh, so far, we don't have a support for container, and uh, there is no PMD for like this, like this. So, actually. We don't have uh, any VHOST PMD. This is, 
So we don't have a DMD for this purpose. Uh, this is current limitation to deploy like this. So there is no VFOS PMD, so we cannot uh, deploy deploy an NFB uh, dynamically. Uh, and also, there is no support for container like Docker. Also, uh, yesterday we have a Bartio session, and there are, uh, there are a lot of discussion about the Bartio, Bartio things. And I guess, uh, I just think denial reconnection is uh, one of uh, limitation, but it seems there are more and more limitation about Bartio. So this is one of the limitation. So what is a denial of reconnection? So uh, currently, when software switch is killed or stopped suddenly, uh, we want to restart it. So then restart it. Also, NFB uh, needs to be restarted because NFB cannot connect it, connect to software switch. To, uh, so this is a, I guess, one of the limitation. Uh, so what will be solved in DBDK 2.3 and 2.3? Uh, I already submit VHOS PMD for NFB connected port. Uh, so I guess this will be solved in next. Next or next. DBDK 2.3 or 2.3, I'm not sure. Uh, also, this PMD will support port hot plugin. Um, the one more thing is container support. Uh, now, uh, Huawei tried to implement a, a Bata Ionet device for container. I'm also working for this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bata Ionet vehicles will be used for this purpose and uh, we don't need any special container delight features. So all containers will be supported. Uh, we have a, a lot of time, eight minutes or six minutes, but yeah, there's a conclusion. <laughs> so far, we have a few issues. Uh, no PMD for NFB connected port, no container support, denial of reconnection. Uh, I guess one and two will be solved in half a year. It means DPDK 2.3. Uh, but uh, still, uh, last issue will be left. Uh, I already uh, submit a patch to QN to solve this, uh, but uh, Mike denied it. Uh, he said uh, to solve this issue, uh, we need to fix Bartio net device specification itself. So I guess to change a spec and uh, making a driver for Linux kernel and change a device in QM and uh, in DPDK changing, I, I guess it, it takes much time. So I guess this will be solving next year or next, next year, I'm sure. Uh, thanks. Uh, there's uh, uh, questions? So am I, uh, I'm not sure if I understand correctly, but your, your challenge is that you've got quite many VMs uh, uh, running and then turning off, turning on and off again, and basically the ports appear and then the ports disappear and you need to manage it somehow and DPDK kind of has a view of a static uh, limited number of ports, right? Yeah, right. Okay. So uh, how about open vSwitch? Do they have the same issue? Yeah, I guess so. So, for example, if you want to deploy uh, NFB dynamically and dynamic, dynamically connect it to open right. research, you need a port. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are you running into the limits 
the, the fact that there's a limited number of ports. I mean, you can reuse slots with hot plug, but uh, you are pretty much limited in some ways to the config parameter on a fixed number of ports. Is that uh, a problem? Uh -huh. Yeah. In, yeah, I can. Yeah. Yes, I, I'm running. So so far, um, so your question is. Uh, it's part of the DPDK config is how many ports you want to have. And so typically it's 32 or 64. Um, sometimes you can have more if you want. But you, it's a static array. Mm -hmm. And so that you have to make that choice at, at build time. And if you're a distro, that's when you made the library. Um, and is that a problem in your environment? Do you envision having more than, say, 64 ports? Uh, yeah. Mm, I'm not sure. I don't have a correct answer for you, but uh, uh, yeah, look, 64 port, 64 ports will be, uh, maybe, you know, uh, so far. So this is a, so um, my work is just a study, a kind of study. So this is not a, <coughs> Currently related to the production, yeah. Any other questions for? All right, then a round of applause. For this.